It turns out that my reply capability to YouTube comments was it is being caused by Internet Explorer. I downloaded Firefox this morning and was playing around with it, you know, to get to learn how to do it. And I just kind of sent kind of a hacky little response to uh, Bobby Tech Abyss, Techtal Abyss. And it says, Hi, John, I think your reply back is working now. I got a message from you that said NBN BNB. Uh, though I don't understand it. Well, that's all right. I don't understand it either, Bobby. I, <laughs> it was just something I pounded on the keyboard to see if it would work. And, and son of a gun, it did. But I went ahead and deleted it on my end. Obviously, it didn't delete on your end. So anyway, with Firefox, I'm now able to respond. But with Internet Explorer, I am not. Is that weird? Is that weird? And uh, I am using this, this uh, right here is Windows XP. My computer at home is Windows 7. So that may be a difference too. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is maybe on this video, instead of going back and trying to answer all the, uh, you know, all the comments, I'll select a few that, that are different from the rest. And we'll answer them right here on the video. And that way it will catch me all up. We can start the new year out fresh. All right, let's go down uh, Mishmash 40. And uh, it says, uh, Jeffrey B., yeah, in reference to the radio show that will be coming up, he said, uh, you need to share the interview on YouTube after it airs. It says, I bet he has a recording of the whole interview. And there's no need to do that. Just go to the uh, 1420thebreeze.com and go to that audio archives. You'll find the recording there. It will be dated uh, January 18th. I showed you how to do that in the video. And let me see. Let me see. Andrew Alsfa says it'll go to his head the next time we see John in the corner of the deck. He'll be in a sequin shirt and shades. <laughs> Anybody know where I can get a sequin shirt? <laughs> oh, and then Nathan said, what I tell you a year ago, you're becoming a household name. I don't think so. Not yet, Nathan. <laughs> oh, let me see here. Oh my goodness, Sky Carl says, a radio star, oh my goodness, here here comes Hollywood, the adventures of Radio Man. <laughs> and I, I don't think so there either. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me see. Michael Coates, Sam P says he searched Michael Coates and he came up empty. You know something, he's right. I did the same thing. Michael Coates, one of the reasons you may not be getting any subscribers is because you're not showing up during searches. Not doing showing up during searches. However, for those of you who want to uh, subscribe to Michael, there is a way you can do it. And uh, you need to type in the, the title of one of his videos. And that's the one I showed. And it's titled, let's see if I can find, Dedicated, Dedicated to My Dad, 1990. Type that in up here. In the, uh, in the search block up here at the top. Dedicated to my dad, 1990. There's a capital on, on uh, dedicated my and dad. You do that and you'll bring up this video and it'll have Michael Coates there and you can click on his uh, subscribe button that way, okay? I don't know what's going on, Michael. You're not showing up when they search your name. That, that should not be happening like that, okay? Oh, I'll tell you, this Google Plus has uh, really got me discombobulated. I, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really about at my wit's end on it. I can't hardly stand it. It's not the YouTube. It's the Google Plus. You know, that's a real problem. All right, back to mishmash number 40. Old Radio Al says, it's no surprise that Greg Van Beek wanted me on his radio show. Well, it was a big surprise to me, Al. And then he says, great mishmash video, but where's our clue? This guy's never satisfied. <laughs> I'm sending, I'm sending Mac up there. I'm serious. He's coming in. He's going to come in like Super Mac. <laughs> oh, let me see. Here's a guy who said he'd rather listen to me than Regis Philbin. Well, apparently he's never listened to Regis Philbin. <laughs> he's a lot better than I am, I'll tell you. And here's a fellow that says, uh, you know, use Firefox. He was right. Oh, well, ADCO 21117. He was right. And uh, I, I, unless things correct themselves, I'm just going to have to use... 
uh, I have to do all my comment replies at the house late at night after I get home from work. It's going to be a real problem. I don't know. And then old Greg says, you know, thanks for the large plug on the Nostalgia Radio Time show. Hey, my pleasure. You know, I just hope I don't ruin things. And uh, old Eddie, or Erdie 5 said, boy, I'll tell you what, this there's nothing as, as annoying as losing your doctor due to things like that. Yeah, that's for sure. He said, my insurance got canceled because it didn't cover prenatal, postnatal, child, eye, and child dentistry. I'm a single guy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, let's check out another, uh, some more comments. This is kind of fun. Right, here's another one from Mike Phelps. He says, uh, thanks for the year of restoration fun. By the way, we're going to be cranking up on another restoration soon. Just, just be patient. And it says uh, he, uh, why I was chosen uh, to be on the breeze. Uh, he's going to guess it could be because you're the Norm Abram of Radio Restoration, the Bob Ross of Wireless Wisdom, even the Julia Child of Antique Concoctions. Holy mackerel. I've got to get that sequin shirt. <laughs> oh, here's a fella that thinks uh, I can't reply because they've got their Google Plus settings set to allow only certain people to reply. No, that would have to apply to everyone. I was doing fine for a long time, and then it just suddenly quit. Bang! So it, it's definitely Internet Explorer. And that's it. Oh, Mr. Mac here. Oh, we got to get Mr. Mac. He says he, he thinks I'm going to want my own radio show now. <laughs> Well, maybe I will. Who knows? I'll sit there behind, uh, I'll have a, uh, instead of a golden EIB mic like uh, Rush Limbaugh, I'll have a silver mic. I'll sit behind it in a red sequin shirt. <laughs> All right, here's Mishmash uh, 39, which was the one previous to what we just did. And uh, going down there, Michael Coates again. He says, John, you're so fortunate that you did not win the big money. This is the one where we scratched off the scratch cards, the lottery scratch cards. He says, after all, what do you give a man who has everything? Well, you can give him $100,000. <laughs> I wouldn't mind taking and a sequin shirt. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He says, the way you work inspires many of us. So Felix said that. Well, I thank you, Felix. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to get folks motivated into the hobby. I've had more than one person tell me, you know, I, I always thought about it. Never did it, but now I'm doing it, and I'm having a lot of fun doing it, you know. Just keep in mind, it's a hobby. Nothing more than a hobby. Don't make it work. Do not make it frustration. If, you're fr if this hobby or any hobby frustrates you, change hobbies. It's not worth the frustration. It's not worth the hassle because it's not a hobby if it's frustrating you. You know, I get a big kick out of a radio when it doesn't work after I've fixed it. Man, I get to go back in there and dig around some more. That's cool. And every time you go back in that radio and dig around, guess what? You're going to learn something new. You may not even realize it until maybe a month later when you're working on a different radio. And it's like, geez, I remember this from the last radio I did. All right, here's the, uh, the New Year's Day video I put up. I wanted to do that. That was kind of cool. Just a quickie, you know, the whole thing about, what, a minute and 11 seconds. But I, I, it was kind of neat. You know, it's interesting. I don't know if you realize that, but I found the the the, the uh, fireworks videos in one place, and and the fireworks sound in another. And I just plugged them on the timeline together on my editing program, and they almost synced up exactly. I couldn't believe it. All right, let me see. We go down here and. Nathan says, uh, by the way, who's the new dislike person I'm starting to see on your videos? Uh, that's this guy right here. He, he always gives me a dislike. Well, I tell you, I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> Nobody cares. Let me see how we're doing. Everybody said happy thanks, uh, New Year's back, happy New Year's back. And uh, that's really great. Well, that's about it. Uh, I think I'll give you one more clue as to what's in that box before we open it up. And maybe, maybe someone can come close to what it's all about. It's not, it's really not what's in the box. I've already told you it's a radio. But, you know, the clue will kind of guide you in the direction and, you know, knowing the kind of person I am and knowing that what you all know uh, about our hobby, you might be able to put two and two together and come up with something. Matter of fact, 
I think I'll give you two final clues. Two final clues because I'm getting you know, anxious to open up the box myself. And here are your clues. 1961, Banks. And that should do it. That should tell you with all the other clues I gave you as to what this box is all about. This radio in this box is all about. So right now it's kind of freezing down here. Uh, by Arkansas standards, it's freezing. Nothing like up in the Northeast. Those guys, those poor folks up there are really getting hammered. But uh, I'm kind of hoping in, uh, maybe by this weekend, maybe by this weekend, today is Thursday. Either by Saturday or Sunday, it'll be warm enough where I can come out. We can pop that box open and take a look at it. Now I'm real, I, I really want to see what's inside. So until next time, this is John. Oops, we have to cover one more comment and just kind of give it a read. It came in last night. It was on the uh, January 1st uh, video. And all the way at the bottom, it came in from Sam P. And Sam P says, he says, I have a message on the screen that this video is not available in my country. I know Massachusetts is way out there, but... <laughs> Funny stuff, Sam. <laughs>